Hi, this is James Hahn with Real Life Rosary, and this is a meditation on today's readings. Happy Easter once again. This is Tuesday, Easter Tuesday, or Tuesday in the octave of Easter. In today's reading, and today's gospel, we hear uh, the story again of Mary Magdalene going to the tomb, finding it empty, angels appearing to her, telling that he's raised from the dead, he's alive, hallelujah, and she goes to look for him. She meets somebody on the way. She thinks it's the gardener. And she says, where have you laid him? I will go get him. I'll go get the body. Just tell me where he is. She's desperate. And he says her name. He speaks her name and then she recognizes him. She recognizes that this is Jesus. But the next thing has always bothered me, this next line. Because Jesus says, stop holding on to me. Or do not hold on to me. And I'm thinking, wow, that's rude. I mean, really, here's Mary who has suffered through so much, who loved him so much, watched him be crucified and died on the cross, spent the whole day Saturday or the whole day on the whole, our Holy Saturday thinking about his life, about the crucifixion, the brutality of it, wanting to get back to the body to finish the, the preparations. And he says, stop holding on to me. But whenever I think, wow, Jesus is, pro is kind of being rude, that makes me think that, yeah, maybe I'm not reading it correctly. And that's something that good, a good practice for us to all do if we think, wow, I don't understand this, I don't think that's right. I'm probably not reading the scriptures correctly. So Jesus says, stop holding on to me. And I think what he's trying to say to Mary is, stop holding on to the old ideas that you have of me. That's why you didn't recognize me. You have these ideas in your head of what I should look like, what I should sound like, who I am. Things have changed. It's all changed. It's all new. It's all beautiful. So stop holding on to these old ideas. St. Peter, uh, in the first reading, basically says the same thing. He preaches to these thousands of Jews uh, about what happened to Jesus and who he really is. And they say, what must we do? And he says, you need to repent. You need to be baptized and receive the Holy Spirit. And 3,000 of them were baptized. So today it's a good time to, to reflect on maybe some of the old ideas we've had of Jesus and be willing and open to, to see him in a new light. Things have changed since the resurrection. And we, uh, we got to stop putting him in a box that he's only our friend or he's only the master or he's only a teacher. He's all of these things and more. And so we have to stop holding on to our old ideas of him. And it's also a good chance for us to maybe stop holding on to old ideas that we have of ourselves. And what I mean is probably some point in your life whether it was whispered to you by a friend or an enemy but they said you know you're not good enough you're not smart enough you're not strong enough and we have these old ideas that we've bought into today in light of the resurrection it's a great time to say no I'm a new person in Christ I've changed I can start over I can do wondrous things for the glory of God have a great Easter Tuesday stop holding on to those old ideas grab a hold of the resurrection this is James Hahn with Real Life Rosary and a meditation on today's readings.